Generic greetings and welcome to Construction Plus Airships Conquer the Sky once again. This is episode 11 and in the previous episode I said I was going to end the series but apparently I'm a compulsive liar because we are back on the game. I, I, I really didn't think there was anywhere else we could go with it other than just start a new campaign and build more ships and that's pretty much what we're going to do but um, I, I also said that I didn't think there was any other ships we could build but there has been a couple of uh, new ideas and I've taken some from the comments and such so uh, I think we can build some more ships. We haven't built a ramming ship which is what we'll be doing this episode and um, version 6.2 is out which is basically performance improvements so we should be able to build more ships. So anyway we're going going to jump in and do that. Also, we're going to do some um, sabotage stuff. I never really did the whole sabotage thing, so we will be doing a lot of that. Let's just go to a new game here, and uh, we're going to go a large map. We'll go to edit our coat of arms. Obviously, we're using the scales. That's what we had as standard, but I think I'm going to use the eye, which is uh, eye actions are, uh, spy actions are 50% cheaper and 50% more likely to succeed. So we'll do a lot of spying and things like that. I think we'll actually change it to a, a black flag with a white eye there. We actually... Yeah, we'll change it like that. That's a little bit differently. We'll save and exit that one. Uh, we're going to call it... We'll go for Generican again. Generican, I think, for our home base. Generican, there we go, and we'll start the game. So it's going to generate the landscape, and then we'll see what we've got. Now, last time, it wasn't too bad. It was quite favourable. We were in the centre, but off to one side, and it's been even better this time. That is fantastic. So, we are at the top right of the map. We've got one person right next to us, which is quite close, actually, and... Um, and there's others around here, but the main thing, uh, I've, I'll just pause it for a second, uh, like that. And the main thing is that this, all of this space down the bottom is all open and we don't have to bother with it. We don't have to bother defending it, which is good, because if they're trying to come this way, then it's going to take them a while. So, this is good. We should be able to take this island quite quickly and then, uh, oh, that's a nice place. That island there is probably the best place to be, just off on their own. Not bad at all. Anyway, so it's not a not a bad start at all. Right, so we're going to go to generic and we're going to... I guess, can we do some spy actions? Spend, send spy for 100. So infiltrate the city and we'll see what they've got, okay? So this is how spies work. You infiltrate the city and there you go, it's worked. So spy active. It tells you what they've got. So they've got uh, six, uh, 46 income. It's got a tiny shipyard there. And they also have cheap wood, which is minus 10% module cost and minus 50% wooden armor. I believe that'll say, but it's just a little bit too long. The secret police is actually on severe, but our spy is quite good. We can also recall spy, or we can view the city. So we'll view the city, and we can see that they have a bit of a defensive system there, as you can see. It's uh, going to cost 662 to destroy that. This one here, we can actually bribe it, and uh, I believe that's bring it to my side, or destroy it. But basically, they haven't got a lot there. Nothing for me to really worry about too much. That's pretty good. Anyway, what I'm going to do is go to uh, create ship, and we're going to create a ship. This time, we're going to create a ramming ship. So... First things first, we need to go and build... We could build a keel and land on things. That's what a couple of people were mentioning, but I don't want to do that. I want two propellers at the back like so. We do want this very, very fast. But I'm aware, however, that we also probably want it... Um, we want it quite long. So what I'm going to do, what I propose actually, and I've never tried this before... What we do, we have a big engine on the back, and then obviously we'll have things like quarters and things like that, but we'll, we'll connect up in a moment. We'll have uh, our engine there, and then we need some sort of suspendium chamber. We also need some sort of coal to keep us up. There's a suspendium chamber there. If we put some fuel in between the things, so we go for a coal store, which is actually a little bit bigger than I thought. Put that there, then we'll go for a coal store in the middle. That connects them all together. So... That's pretty good. Then we need to have a some sort of propulsion. And I think what I'll do is go for... Well, we need weapons first. So we can go for a ram. So the ram will be on the front there. Actually, we'll probably have two rams. A couple of rams. And... Hmm. How do I do this? See, there's a couple of ways I could do it. I could have a brute force approach, which is just five rams in a row. Or something like that. A big row. A row of rams. That's a bit of a tongue twister. We could have a row of rams. And that will basically knock out one block and, you know, you go wang. Knock a couple of block, Knock one block out and then wang again. Knock a couple of block out. But a row of five. When I say wang, I mean smashing and stuff like wadang when you wang into it. Um... Uh, or we could do the other way and have like the chisel so we just have one or two and that'll cut out more blocks and then that'll end up uh, you know chipping away that's a better option if you're going to be versing enemy buildings you can chop out the building from underneath them the other way is more of an anti-ship approach so we'll see what happens we could even build more than one ship either way 
I've got no crew, no supply hatches. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to, I think we'll go to our, we won't go to troops. I do want troops. No, command and crew first. We'll go to quarters and put a quarter there and we'll put a quarter there. Okay. So that's quite easy. We've got a lot more troops than we really need. But I am going to put a cockpit at the back because I don't want the cockpit to get destroyed. I think we will also put on, if we go to our, uh, I think propulsion. I want this as fast as we can get it, really. Speed is 37. That's nowhere near fast enough. I want a really, really fast ship. Like, I'm thinking, ideally, ideally I'm talking sort of 50. 50 would be fantastic if we can get that. In fact, what, what if we just put that there, remove that cockpit, remove that, put that there, and put that there. What's the speed on this? 45. No, don't like that. It's too big. I don't want it any thicker than three because I do have a bit of a plan. So we'll put a cockpit there. allows us to issue orders, although a bridge would be quite nice. Having a bridge on would be a little bit better, I think. We're going to put a bridge on. We'll put a supply hatch on the back. I do want a supply hatch. Yeah, supply hatch. We do need a supply hatch. And then I'll go for propulsion and a bit of the old uh, propeller. There we go. Right, so what else do we need? Well, currently that's actually a, a legitimate ship. Although it's got no guns, which is um, slightly problematic. What we'll do then, we will put on... We have got a flat cannon. Look, we can put a flat cannon on. It's actually not uh, glitched out now. <laughs> Don't know why we want to put one on, but whatever. Uh, we need to have... Ooh, so we're going to ram stuff. We don't have an ammo store. We don't have a machine shop. We do need some sort of repair bay because obviously we're going to have a, bit, a, bit, a lot of ramming here. So we'll need some sort of repair bay. We'll put it there. And then in this little gap here, we can put... A sm we can put some ammo store if we need to. Ammo store. But we don't need ammo. Small ammo store. We could put one if we really wanted to. Um, what would be the point that we don't need ammo? But the problem with that is that as soon as you run out of ammo, a class has been defeated, which is a bit of a glitch in the way that the game cal calculates things. What I'll do... I'll put an ammo store in, because I might put a gun on this. I might put something on it. Small coal store, no, but we do need... We could have a repair. Actually, what we could do, now that I think about it, we could have some troops. We could have a guard, a guard barracks. Uh, actually have a barracks on board. Like that. We could ram into something and then board it. Ah, that never really occurred to me, actually. That could be something interesting. What we're going to do, because I'm not entirely sure how a ramming ship would function, I'm going to build a half ramming, half boarding ship, and then later on we'll build a just 100% ramming, I think. That's probably what we'll go for. Right. Yeah, something like that. Bit of corridor there. What I'm going to do is have... We don't have a repair bay. I don't think I'm going to bother with one because I just want to... How many do we have? Uh, air sail is 17. Recommended crew 7. We don't need all of that. So I'll get rid of one of them. And I will put a repair bay on the thing. Repair bay would be good. We don't have a fire point either, which is uh, a bit problematic. But uh, I don't know where we could put it. Where could we put a fire point? I don't... See, the problem is fire points is only one type. You've got, obviously, a large... Like, you've got a machine shop and a repair bay. You've got, like, small coal store, normal coal store. There's no small fire point, sadly. But, uh... I don't know where else we can put it. What's our service ceiling? 200 odd meters. We don't need that, then. We could probably reduce this one by putting in a fire point there. And then a suspendium chamber. Small suspendium chamber there. Service ceiling, oh, 24. Yeah, maybe that's not going to work. Uh, yeah, we'll, we, we'll forget about that one. We'll forget about that one. Right, let's just go back to uh, repair bay. We'll put a repair bay in. And because we only need recommended crew 8, air sailors 12, and marines. We've got marines. Right, so we have our... Supply hatches there. That The reason I've put them there is because it'll give us access to... Well, basically when we board, they'll be all on that row. But then what I want is a... Do I want a fire door? I want something that's quite... That's got weight 8, HP 60. Corridor, weight 8, HP 32. I want something that is fairly heavy. So fire door, uh, weight, weight is... 
20 and it'll slow fire down. Deck is HP 40, that's HP 32. So actually supply hatches are probably one of the best. Weight 8, HP 60. Fire door is weight 20, HP 50. So actually supply hatches are probably the best thing to use when it comes to uh, <laughs> when it comes to just a brick of um, you know like a block of uh, ab ablative stuff. So that's what we're going to use. Then what I want, I want to put on a some sort of ramming system. So I think this is going to be there's the ram. We could put them like that. We could put three on there if we really wanted to, and that has reduced our server ceiling to 32 meters. That's 54 meters. That's a bit better. That. What's our speed? 24, though. It's not that fast. It's not that fast at all. I think the problem is I've made this a little bit too big. But uh, we'll see how it goes. So there's two rams. We could put three on, but I don't think it's necessary. What I am going to do, however, is um, I'm going to go to propulsion. Don't know if this will work. Small propeller flipped and put it there because that'll drag us forward or allow us to reverse a little bit faster, if anything. That functions. Right. I think that will work. We'll go to armor. And currently it's uh, 52 service ceiling. This is going to be anti-vehicle. Uh, anti-building, I think. That's what this thing's going to be. We'll go for steel armor. That reduces it to 29. Steel armor, 12 blast, 6 penetration. Uh, wood, wood armor is 1 and 3. You could put stone... But it's got a lot of HP, so steel protects you. Either way, steel is better. Stone has more HP. I think we're going to go for s just steel. There we go. I think that will do us quite nicely. So, we'll rename that. And we'll call it the generic air vessel or generic air vehicle. Or generic airship vessel, generic airship vehicle, whatever. It's called the GAV. Uh, ramming, ra uh, it's the ramming. Ah, see, it's not the Ramington because we already plan on... Does that look different? Or is it just my eyes? It looks a bit clearer when you zoom out. It does actually look a lot clearer when you zoom out. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Anyway, uh, Gav, it's a, it's a ramming ship and it's a boarding ship. So it's a... Can we call it boarding Ramington? Uh... Uh, I don't know. Barracks. The, how about the Gav <laughs> Ram Boardington. The Ram Boardington. There we go. That seems to work for me. We will, uh, save design, Gav Bam, uh, Ram Bomb, uh, Ram Boardington, that's going to be so difficult to say, and we'll build one of them. Sweet! So we're going to build one. All right. We do have a Scalarotic thing. It's a really crappy ship by the start, by the look of it. Uh, how much are these things? Let's go to uh, build. So we'll go to build ship. How much is the... Uh... Let's have a quick look. It's our Ram Boardington. It's, oh, it's 900. It's actually, little, it's actually quite expensive. What I'm going to do then, let's go to View City. This is them. Right, what I want to do, I want to unpause it until I've got enough money. Oh, it looks like they're sending, this guy's sending a fleet, and they've been... Ah, right, okay, that's good. They've been defeated. Right, so, why can't I destroy 200 to do that? You'd think I would be able to destroy them. View City, why can't I destroy them? I think it's because of the... Uh, High instance of uh, secret police, but I'm not entirely sure. Either way, I'm going to invade. So here we go. This is going to be the first test of the Ram Boardington. So, oh, that's not good. The Ram Boardington has got a really garbage service ceiling. But it is it is really an assault vessel. It's to assault the defences. Uh, this thing up here will have to take out their airship. So let's just start that one. And I'm going to quickly move this vehicle down. I do mean move. Uh, the one at the back, I'm going to put on aimed fire, because we do want to save our stuff here. Then what I want to do is move the Ram Bombardington up, and then any second now, what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to click on this. I'm going to ram, and I'm going to say ram there, and it will it will attempt to drive straight home. So here we go. The first test of the Ram Bombardington. Forward! Oh, that didn't work out so well. Right, let's back that thing right back. There we go. And it's a good job. Yeah, I'm glad I give it the extra... Um, I'm, glad, I'm glad I didn't just give it the little small bridge, the cockpit. The bridge mix allows me to, um, you know... Uh, issue more orders. So here we go. Here's the ram and Oh, that's what we want to see right this thing seems to work. We'll pull that right back and Here we go again. We'll go for a ramp say there and forward Oh, there we go. That's working out fantastically. Well, right. This is working very very well Actually, we'll go for another ram straight forward Yes, keep going, keep going. Back it up a bit. See, that's why I put that engine there, because it's given me a bit more speed. We'll go for a ram. And... Defeat! What? Oh, do you know what happened? It ran out of ammo. It ran out of ammo. So we're going to have to run away. We'll move back. But that ship works very well. So we're going to go to uh, build ship. And what we need to do... We need to build something that... Um, there's the Assaultington. Good grief. That's an old ship. We need to build a ship that can just keep us in the fight. So we're just going to keep scrolling down these. We need to build something that... Uh, the Deathly Wind. It's not bad. We need to build a ship that can sit back and can fire guns. So can I actually... I've got my spy here. I don't know why my spy... Why I can't actually uh, take them on. You know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have a quick look here. Pause it. Let's have a quick refit of this. Is that fine? That ship's actually all right now. I'm going to go for another invade. I think we can pull that one off. So here we go. Same thing again. Move my other ship back uh, here because it's just there to uh, keep the thing alive. We'll move our Ram Bombardington down and we'll just click a start on that one. And then immediately we're going to go to Ram and then to the back of there. We'll go to our other ship at the back here. It's on aimed fire. So it uh, is obviously not going to use a lot much ammo. So here we go. This is the ram bombarding again. I hope I don't hit the ground. Eventually it's going to happen, but uh, not today. Here we go. Whoa! And you can see there's a bit of damage there. <laughs> I like that. Let's just pull back a bit. This is a very good ship. I really like this ramming ship already. This is fantastic. Ram and there. Uh, I don't know if you know, but um, the... It's the version 7 is already alpha 7 is already uh, underway and it's uh, it's going to have land ships and stuff so I'm really looking forward to that land ship so you can have uh, actual walkers there we go that's actually defeated now that's good you can you'll be able to have walkers you'll have wheeled vehicles but basically ground vehicles that's all good we'll go for rams here we go is another ram and bang yes victory so that's that that little bit's actually a separate item that's been defeated that's a separate item. Item. If we go up the top, why is he the one defeated? What happened to it? I'm guessing I just shot it to pieces. Disarmed, it says. Victory, anyway, we'll go for a general takeover, and we've managed to take that over. That's fantastic. Let's just go to generic and then check our defenses here. Uh, we have got a couple of defenses, that's fine. Uh, right, I think then we're going to send a spy over there. We don't have a spy here, but we are going to send spies to each one's uh, each one of our next door neighbours. So that's got a f oh, that's got a flamethrower there. That's pretty good, and that's got heavy wooden armour. That's pretty nice. Right, okay. This this is going to um, I want to see view city what they're doing. Ah, oh, right. They have they're building that by the look of it, and that one. I could destroy for 750. I don't want to do that. Uh, it looks like they're actually constructing a ship. Let's go to uh, View City. We can say destroy for 900. I'm going to destroy it. Right? And errors occurred. Oh, that's not good. Oh, no. Yeah, agents tried to destroy but failed. An error as well. That's not good. Let's try that again. View City. Destroy. Your plot against the enemy fails. It failed twice in a row. That's not good. I think that happened because I had the game paused when I was doing it. Oh, right. I'm just going to keep destroying that because I'm getting 62 a tick. So as soon as that's destroyed, I can pretty much just send my uh, my ramming vehicle in. So destroy. Your agent's plot to destroy it fails again. It keeps failing. And all I'm doing is wasting money trying to uh, take these out. What are they building here? Oh, building a little ship there. That's uh, 
Not too bad. Right, so wait until I got a little bit more money. I want to take these out and get that flamethrower because I have an idea for doing a ramming vessel with a flamethrower on it. Ha 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 ha. Right. View city, destroy. A blaze, yes, a blaze set by our agent destroys the orc. That, that's what it was called. So they're on high alert. I'm going to do invade. And here we go. So they only have that one ship there. And guess what? Guess what this vehicle is designed to do? It's designed to ram. We're going to move our other ship right at the back there. We'll click start. Make sure that's on aim fire, which it is. Our other ship, bit problematic here. We can't really get anywhere. So I'm going to move over there. Bring it down and then ram, which means I'll have to ram through that tree, which isn't really a problem, but uh, we'll see what happens. So we're going to say ram there, and here we go! Oh, I took out a little bit of them, so we'll have to back it up a bit. Ah, there we go, that's problematic. And I think this is the first time that this thing is actually getting shot, which it didn't get shot last time. God, the game looks nice in the, in the, in the darkness. There we go. Right, yeah, I, th we d I don't think we uh, got shot at last time. I'm going to bring this down. I'm going to chop the bottom out like a tree. So we're going to go for a ram and then ram there. Here we go. There's a bit of tree going. Tree, 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 tree. Yes. Good, good, good. Right, we're going to pull that back. However, I have d pretty much destroyed that ram to take that tree out. So we'll go for another ram. Here we go. Forward. There we go. We're starting to take them out. Now, what I'm going to do then, I'm going to do board ship. We're going to tell them to board that. And there they all go, starting to board it, and I'm going to move this thing back over. There we are. So we've now got people boarding it. There we go. And it looks like we've captured it. Oh, excellent. Right. So it actually functioned as intended. We rammed a, vehicle, we rammed a target and then boarded it. I guess we could have done that on the other one, but I wanted to try the ram. So we're going to go for a gentle takeover. And... That looks like it's all working there. That's working quite well. Let's send spies all over the place, really. It's going to cost a little bit of money, but it means I can see exactly what they've got there. So they've got grappling hooks uh, for the air grenadiers. That's got Gatling guns. That's got revolting cities join your empire. Ah. Let's have a look, quick look at uh, this thing. We could say bribe it. Bribe it. I've never tried bribe. 45%. Let's try it. Despite your agent's best efforts, it refuses to join your side. That's a subtle creak. I'm going to try and do that again. In fact, we'll view city here. What have they got? Oh, 5,000 for a bribe there. That won't work. View city. Bribe. Uh, despite your agent's best efforts, refuse to join your fleet. I guess what? We'll try and do it again. View city. Bribe. It didn't work again. Uh, and now I've got not enough money to uh, to do that. We're going to keep trying it, though, because I want to see what happens. It's all about the investigation. View city. Uh, that's destroy. We can't do that. We need to view city. Bribe. It's not... It doesn't want to join, really. It, does, it really doesn't. I, I, I'll tell you, though, I'm going to get enough money to, de to deal with that. Come on. A little bit of money. View the city. Bribe. Ah, careful words and large bags of gold convince the captain and crew... <laughs> of the unbending to join your forces. So there it is, and we can bring it over here. I really like that. I like that a lot. Right, I think we can go and invade them then. We'll bring it over here. Problem I've got now is that I, I am expanding a little bit too uh, fast here. Right, looks like we've got three of the same sort of defenses there. That's going to be problematic. Oh, I didn't want to reserve that one. That's going to be problematic. Let's just start this one. And um, we're quickly going to pause it. We need to just close the reserve box. Put them both on aimed fire, which one of them is. And then we're going to have to start ramming. Now, the problem we'll have is that I don't think I can realistically uh, manage to get through three of these towers with the ram. There's one of them. Okay. So we're just going to keep pulling back and forward. Keep the ram going. And there we go. Oh, that hit some at vital. That's one of the things about ramming. Um, sometimes you will hit things that uh, set it on fire. So there we go. Keep going for the ram. There we go. That's uh, working quite well. Working as intended. And we'll pull that back. And there we go. And then we'll go for the ram again. And there we go. Not bad, not bad. I reckon if I can, if I can take out one, if I can actually destroy one and board the other, I think that'll be uh, quite a success. So there we go. This, in terms of vehicles, this is working very well. More for more ramming. Oh, I've lost one of the ramming prowess though, so we are reliant on one. Now, I think it has been a good choice to actually have um, the three. To actually have the, uh, sorry, the two the two ramming in the sort of prowess instead of a... Oh, that's not good. It's actually landed on top of me. Move back over here. Ah, yes, there we go. So we're going to have to actually order a ram. I don't think we can go any further. I honestly think that's it. 
I think if we try and order a ram, yeah, it's stuck. That's actually landed on top of me, and this thing can't move. So I'm going to have to say board ship that one, and hopefully they can get there. Nope, they can't get there, I'm afraid. So let's see if we can say ground ship. It's not crushing that little block. Defeat. Yeah, defeat. I thought it might happen. We'll move back to there. We tried. We tried. Okay, so they're actually constructing the uh, the Hercules here. Used to be able to sabotage as well. I don't know if you could sabotage anymore. It doesn't say. Right, so let's just go to defences. Uh, what defences have we got here? That's the one that I managed to dis uh, not destroy but just capture. Uh, defences over here are nothing whatsoever. So we are going to uh, build defences. We're going to go for a bit of the old build building. That's something we haven't done. And I keep on promising to build some proper defences. I just never get round to it. Uh, I don't think we need the Black Tower. Keeper of Crows should be fantastically... Uh, it's bit of, I think it's a safe bet there. And that'll do us quite nicely. Right, I think we're actually going to leave it there because that's been uh, not a bad episode. We've built a ship, we've taken over two areas, and we've used a lot of the uh, spy stuff, which is what I wanted to do. Next episode, I think we will build another ramming ship, but what we'll do, we'll put a flamethrower on it. So we'll ram it and then flame it, and I think that's going to be our anti-vehicle, uh, our anti-airship system. That's what we're going to do, so it'll actually be a bit bigger than the other one, but we'll see how it goes. As always, comments in the comments, that'll change what we do and how we build things. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.